While we don't know all the results yet, at least I don't know them all yet, uh, here's what we do know. While the press and the pundits are predicting a giant red wave, uh, it didn't happen. Some good Democrats didn't win the last night. Democrats had a strong night. And we lost fewer seats in the House of Representatives than any Democratic president's first midterm election in the last 40 years. Voters uh, spoke clearly about their concerns about raising costs, the rising costs that they're in, and the need to get inflation down. And they sent a clear and unmistakable message that they want to uh, preserve our democracy and protect the right to choose, uh, regardless, regardless of what the final tally in these elections show. And there's still some counting going on. I'm prepared to work with my Republican colleagues. The American people have made clear, I think, that they expect Republicans to be prepared to work with me as well. I'm not going to support any Republican proposal that's going to make inflation worse. For example, the voters don't want to pay higher prescription costs for drugs. We've cut that now. We're going to kick into gear next year, next calendar year. And I'm not going to walk away from the historic commitments we just made to take on the climate crisis. Under no circumstances will I support the proposal put forward by Senators Johnson and the senator from down in Florida to cut or make fundamental changes in Social Security and Medicare. That's not on the table. I will not do that. I will veto any attempt to pass a national ban on abortion, but I'm ready to compromise with Republicans where it makes sense on many other issues. On this election season, the American people made it clear. They don't want every day going forward to be a constant political battle. Can you describe your relationship with Mr. McCarthy? How often do you speak to him? What do you think of him? I think he's a Republican leader, and uh, I haven't had much of occasion to talk to him. But I will be talking to him, I think. I think I'm talking to him later today. Well, I, I'm not, I, I don't think we're going to break the fever for the super mega mega Republicans. I mean, but I think they're a minority of the Republican Party. My judgment of running when I announce if I know, my intention is that I run again, but I'm a great respecter of fate, and uh, this is ultimately a family decision. I think everybody wants me to run, but they're gonna, we're going to have discussions about it. And I don't feel in any, any hurry one way or another what, to, to, to make that judgment what today, tomorrow, whenever, no, no matter what the, 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 my predecessor does.